Hello everyone, welcome to Bunty's channel for building a self-driving race car. Today I've bought another tutorial uh, on setting up a 3D camera with our beloved NVIDIA Jetson TX2. So this is our Jetson TX2. This is the car we are actually trying to build, a self-driving race car. Today what we are going to do is to experiment with the 3D camera from Stereo Lab Mini Z. For the last couple of months, I've tried Stereo Lab Z, Intel RealSense, and both fell short of my expectations. But then I found that uh, the Stereo Labs are going to come out with a Mini Z camera uh, at a price of uh, $499, and I immediately pre booked it. I just received my a ZM, a mini Z camera. That's what they say. In the box, it came up with uh, the camera, two cables, one large from the camera to a USB port and one small. I'm presently using the smart small one to basically hook this mini Z camera to a USB hub which I have installed on top of my car. It also came with a camera holder. You can attach it to any surface uh, on the face of your robot. I'm planning to attach it to the front of my car. The first thing we need to do uh, in order to basically start integrating the camera with uh, the Jetson TX2 is to download SDK from the Stereo Lab website. So what do you do? You go to the Stereo Lab website and go to their SDK downloads. Now, depending on the CUDA version you have or the Jetpack you have, you need to basically download the corresponding SDK. I have the Jetpack 3.1 on Jets Jetson TX2, so I actually downloaded this SDK for TX2. Once downloaded, you need to move that file to a local directory in your home. So I created a mini Z in my home and move it there. You change the permission to an executable and then run it. It takes around eight to 10 minutes. You should see this message, Z SDK installation complete. Once the SDK installation is complete, the next step is to download Z ROS wrapper from GitHub. What you need to do is go to your Catkin workspace source directory. If you don't have a Catkin workspace, you will have to create a Catkin workspace in your home. Create a source directory underneath. Go to that source directory and use git clone command to clone the JetRos wrapper from the github.com. Then you go to the parent directory, catkin workspace, and do a catkin make. You also update your setup.bash with this environment variable. The next thing you need to do is download IMU tools for RAS. Again, you need to go to the source directory, use the git clone, in order to make sure that you are using the correct distribution, you can use dash p kinetic. The kinetic is the distribution I am using. You need to do use the proper oh, version you are using. And then clone IMU tools from the github.com. Another thing you can uh, make sure that you have all the dependency for IMU tools by using the ROS depend commands. You install all the dependency for IMU tools. Again, you go to the parent directory and do catkin make. 
once you have done that you can actually verify that your camera is con actually responsive and is uh, working by using the ROS launch command so you launch the jet wrapper using the ROS launch command with the display ZM uh, launch So let's try that. So in a terminal, we basically use ROS launch command, Z wrapper display ZM dot launch. It opens up the Orvis. So you can see that you can see the orientation of the camera is reflected on the right side. So it actually gives you a 3D orientation of the camera. You can actually also see the same thing on the left side. So on the left side, if you look, there's a robot model if you click on it there's a z center you can see the positions and orientation so if i move the camera the value changes the there is positions for jet center you can have the jet depth, left, and the right cameras. You can also look at the point cloud. You can also look at the depth cloud. So next thing what we want to do is to see if we can read the camera readings for position and orientation through our own listener. Because at the end of the day, in order to basically create either a robot or our self-driving car, we need to get these readings into our ROS node. So I created a odometer node. So in my Catkin workspace, I created a my car odometer sub. So this is my odometer listening 
for basically getting position and speed of mini Z3 camera over the RAS system. So you do the same thing what you have done with uh, the RAS wrapper is to go into the Catkin workspace and do a Catkin Mac. So it will install the uh, your listener along with the other uh, ROS components. In order to uh, see if this is working, you have to actually start the ROS service. So the first thing is to start the ROS core. So once you start the ROS core, it actually started the core service you can see that with the ROS out so if you look uh, the ROS node using the ROS node list you see that the ROS out is available then you start your own list now so what you need to do is basically using ROS run you start your own listener as ODOM listener node So now you go back and check the ROS nodes. You'll see that, okay, both ROS out as well as ODOM listener are now running. Now we need to run the Z mini as a ROS node. So we need to actually do a ROS launch, but not with the display mode, but with the ROS launch with just the Z launch. So if we do that, we will see that there is a JET state publisher and the JET wrapper node running along with ROS now. I killed the ODOM listener because I wanted to make sure that first we see that, okay, these are running. Now we relaunch or rerun our ODOMeter listener and see we start getting the positions you can see that okay the position of the camera is available if we keep it still it try to stay same so i think uh, now we have been able to prove that our camera is working it is able to basically send the position and coordinates to our automated listener uh, the next thing is to look for three point or build a three point cloud ros node which will get the three point cloud data from the jet camera or the depth cloud from the jet camera and then process on it once i'll be able to do that i'll actually set up another tutorial on how to create that node and listen to zm i'm looking forward to it because it seems uh, this is in a much better shape than z or the intel real sense thanks for watching if you have any comment or questions uh, send me or put uh, as a comment in the comment section thank you